New at six after spending two weeks in Tokyo, J Japan, HSU graduate assistant Tanner Wright is now back home from the Paralympics. Our own Miriam Chamberlain caught up with him upon his return and he tells us about his experience living in the village. The whole experience in general is just pretty surreal. Paralympian and Hardin Simmons University's graduate assistant Tanner Wright recalls his time in the village after spending two weeks at the 2020 Tokyo Paralympics. Right when I finished the 400 and the uh, finals, my immediate thought was I knew it was a really good race and I knew how much better it could have been. Wright says the scariest part about the competition. Honestly, that whole day I was a wreck. <laughs> was everything leading up to the race. I was nervous throughout the whole day. I've had trouble sleeping before. I had trouble sleeping after. But after setting foot on the track, the nerves went away. Once you're actually in the blocks and like the finals of the 400 Olympic meters, like then it just turns into another 400 meters against seven other people. Right before he ran, I sent him a message. HSU head track and cross country coach Isaac Hamilton has been helping prepare right for his races and the coaching didn't stop while in Tokyo. I said don't forget to execute. Focus on yourself. Don't try to race them. Run your race. And uh, so the whole time I was like, execute, execute. After knowing each other a little over six years, Hamilton says he truly appreciates him and Wright's friendship. Just to have known him for so long and seen how hard he had worked in five years nonstop. You know, just to make it to that point, you know, I'm just really honored that he, uh, you know, let me help him on his journey. Now back home after competing in both the finals of the 100 meter race, placing seventh and the 400 meter race, placing third. Wright says he's grateful to have set an example for people all over the world. At first, it was just a relief for making the team. And uh, half the time, you know, it, it is a competition, but um, half the time I just really wanted to make sure I actually enjoyed the experience and lived in the moment while I had to. As he's already preparing and setting the bar even higher for the next Paralympics. In Abilene, what coverage you can count on? Miriam Chamberlain, KTAB News. Thank you, Miriam, and a big congratulations to Tanner on your accomplishments while at the 2020 Tokyo Paralympics.